What's up YouTube, it's Matt Luke here, so today I'm just going to make a What's in My Doc video because I haven't made one in a while. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, by the way, I won't be able to post uh, the look of the week 7 uh, on Wednesday, so I'll try to post it later on the week and uh, next week we'll just get back on track on Wednesday. Um, so yeah, if you don't know what that is, uh, just uh, don't worry about it. Um, so let's get right into it, the What's in My Doc. First of all, I would like to say that uh, all the applications in my doc are really uh, like important applications that I use at least weekly because I don't want my doc to be too filled. I really want to have like all the great applications in my doc and uh, not too much. Um, so, yep, let's go right into it. Um, so, from the left uh, on, we have the Finder, which is obviously the application to find everything on your Mac. You're probably familiar with it. Um, so, then we have three Adobe. Uh, applications so Adobe After Effects uh, video editing also allows uh, in a video editing in 3D space uh, I make my intros with that uh, I don't consider myself really good at it or anything but um, I'm trying to learn as much as possible about After Effects because it's quite advanced I would say and it's really hard to learn um, so if you know everything about it that's great that's a great application so then we have Photoshop which is um, well advanced photo editing or image editing uh, you can also start uh, stuff from scratch um, you're probably familiar with it as well just to uh, retouch your pictures or just uh, make I don't know whatever graphical design you want Adobe Illustrator um, also for graphical design not really for pictures uh, not for pictures retouching but more graphical design you can uh, do 3D stuff with it and um, yeah basically 3D stuff I mainly use it for 3D stuff but you can also draw cartoons and stuff like that in it and uh, apparently you can also write books in it um, so yeah um, by the way for Photoshop um, uh, the newest version of Photoshop which uh, is CS4 and now CS5 really soon but um, also supports a little bit of video editing I forgot to mention that so then uh, for Motion which is Apple Motion 4 which is part of the um, Final Cut Studio 3 um, Video, well, it's not really, yeah, video editing software as well in 3D space. Um, not, yeah, in 3D space, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, not 3D modeling or anything, it's mainly a 3D video editing. Um, so check that out. Uh, they also include some cool templates if you want to start off with that. Um, so, yep. Uh, Firefox, which is my default web browser, which I prefer from Safari and stuff like that for personal reasons. I mean, personal. Uh, I mean, uh, for scripts, plugins, add-ons, uh, whatever, all those themes and stuff. Although I'm not really satisfied with the newest version, but yeah. Stainless, uh, my secondary browser, uh, which I use when I'm doing something else or I just want to start up really quick um, so the browser to search something up. Uh, sorry. My mail application, just when I want to check on my mail quickly if I don't have time to open my whole browser, because uh, most of the time I do uh, read my mail in my browser. But um, I also have the mail client. So iMovie 09, just for a quick video editing on your Mac. I mean, you, you already have it on your Mac probably um, somewhere. Um, so again, standard quick video editing, uh, cut clips and stuff, move around, picture in picture, some cool effects, transitions and stuff like that. Uh, ScreenFlow, what I use right now to, um, to uh, record my screen, uh, including my built-in eyesight and uh, all the effects I make in my uh, video edit, um, screen recordings, I'm sorry. Uh, are all part of ScreenFlow. Then Media Player OS 10 Extended, uh, quite a long name, but uh, that's just my uh, main uh, media player, which allows kind of every video format out there and um, music format as well. Uh, QuickTime Player, uh, that's just the standard Mac player. I just have it there because it's part of Mac, uh, Mac OS 10 and it's a really nice player. Um, iTunes, uh, iTunes for all your music and syncing your Apple devices to your Mac. Uh, personally, I don't really like iTunes that much, but uh, since I have an iPhone, I kind of have to use it. Uh, it's great for organizing music, making playlists and stuff like that. Uh, Tweety, my standard uh, Twitter client uh, to write tweets. I think it's a great Twitter client. You can uh, do everything. It's a really nice interface. I have multiple accounts. I also have it on my. You can also have it on your iPhone or iPod Touch. VMware Fusion to run um, multiple uh, operating systems on your Mac. So it's basically, for example, running Windows on your Mac 
um, or Linux, Ubuntu, all the other stuff based on that. Um, so, yep, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. Um, so that's just a fun little first-person shooter game uh, you might want to play. Uh, it's a really cool game. Since Modern Warfare 2 came out, I don't play it that much anymore. But yeah, Skype uh, Skype is my um, standard instant messaging slash calling slash communication uh, application out there. So everybody kind of in the tech world has Skype. Um, so that's why it's great. And you can uh, call to actual phones um, or just call between computers or just do instant messaging. So it's a great. You can also add me. All the contact for me, by the way, is in the description, including my website, email, and stuff like that. Uh, candy bar. So candy bar uh, is to customize your Mac. Um, so your icons, everything from your icons, uh, you can ma make different collection, organize all your icons. Uh, your dock, you can change each element of your dock and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, App Zapper, which is my standard uninstaller. So you just drag apps to there, and it will find the app itself and all the associated files uh, from the app and you can just delete them so there are a lot of um, similar applications which are free but when I got App Zapper was quite long ago um, I didn't know they existed so there's App Delete and App Clean which also allow this I think App Zapper is still paid at least when I got it was um, so then we have uh, FileZilla uh, that's just to uh, transfer files um, it's a file transfer or FTP client um, as they call it so uh, from server to server you can transfer files or just from your computer to your server if you have your own website for example it's a great application. FileMaker Pro um, so that's made to make uh, well it's to organize stuff um, basically if you know Bento it's from the same company it almost does the same uh, it's to organize stuff or your contact you can organize a ton of stuff it's really hard to explain uh, basically does everything uh, for organization on your computer so be sure to check them out uh, so yep uh, TextMate that's just my standard text client um, so that's really a must have on your Mac it a lot uh, supports almost all text formats files um, just the standard text or HTML, CSS, XML, PHP all the web text out there uh, it supports so then we have my, my stacks, which is uh, my application folder, so a few of my applications. I have, uh, by the way, for the people who are asking, t about 240 Mac applications, so not that much, but uh, I try to keep my hard drive not too fill, uh, filled. So yep, then we have a few games here. Um, I don't play a lot of games on my Mac, but I still have those to test them and stuff. Then all my Adobe stuff. I got my Adobe with a student discount. You should really consider that if you're a student, because otherwise it's really expensive, including Lightroom and uh, Elements. And then we just have my uh, standard, well, my uh, personal stuff folders and stuff, so that's not really interesting. My downloads folder and my trash. So that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out m4cbook.com, including the forum where we post like Mac related stuff, uh, games, and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, again, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, I mean, like, uh, because the new layout uh, is like and not rate. So yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, peace.